which makes this hotel absolutely not worth it. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, so okay. We just walked into our hotel room and it is gorgeous. <laughs> this is a great place. It does have just a little bit of a smell, um, like a little bit of a musty smell, like camp, <laughs> something like that. Um, but even at that, uh, the room is really nice. It's very quiet in here. It's definitely low-end, like Ikea kind of stuff. So you can tell by the texture of the walls that it's an old uh, room and like the door. There's definitely some datedness to the quality of it, but it also looks really nice. Like it's an appealing room and the lobby of the main Wyndham Resort is incredible. So um, I'm very happy about this resort so far, and this came in at like under $100 a night for me, um, to for us to be able to stay here for this quick vacation. So, I think it's definitely worthwhile, very fun, and uh, let's do some exploring. Okay, I'm going to show you guys our secret fridge. Oh, I have a feeling there's stuff in here too. No, there isn't. And there's even coke hangers. Come along and see. My diverty branches. Okay, we have shoes on right now. You might be wondering why we are going to go get a snuggly for me. You forgot a little snuggly toy for a little one here. So we're going to have to go get something uh, for her right now. And Disney Springs is only just a couple of minutes away, so I think that's where we're going to head out. Once again, you can see on the walls, it's got that old, old-time texture on it. Hello! And, uh, but everything is very nice. There was space. The bathroom. There is also space for an adjoining room, if you're into that, and you have a couple of different parties coming. It could be really nice for a family getaway. We were disillusioned to find out that the pool closes at 9 o'clock, so we may have to make some time at some point during this trip to go spend time at the pool in the afternoon. We're going to be at each park until 10 o'clock, so we're not going to get a lot of pool time if it closes at 9 o'clock. So, instead, we're going to go over to Disney Springs right now to buy a stuffy, and then uh, it'll probably be bath time and bedtime later. It's going to be a late night, but... It's vacation, that's what you do. Let's go. Here's the Wyndham Springs Garden Inn. And then we walk this way, and we go into the other Wyndham Springs Resort, which is connected. They're both basically the same thing. still right outside of our resort like it's right behind me and you can see the sign for Disney Springs already well we are here at Disney Springs let's see what's open and what we actually can do while we're here. Our most important thing is getting a toy. So first, the doors are open. I think it's time to go buy something. Second that we come here to Disney Springs, we found our first purchase right away. As I walked in, they did immediately say, grab your mask, put it on. So there are people definitely here um, encouraging mask wearing. Um, and I mean you have to wear them or you won't be allowed in. Okay friends, I, uh, I just got the Disney chills with the uh, Pocahontas medley that's happening behind me. <laughs> that definitely gives you that, uh, oh I'm here, I'm actually here at Disney. <laughs> 
They still have the touching areas for the Lego store closed off. But I'm loving this live music and I think that's what we're gonna go check out next. It is very hard to find the entrance to World of Disney because every door says exit. Okay, we need to put on our mask. These are like little Polly Pockets. Those are really cool. I love those. Those are so much fun. All right, bye Disney Springs. It's been fast, it's been real, and we are now on our way back to the hotel for tonight. The pin trading station here on our way out, and Once Upon a Toy, which just happens to be where we bought my daughter's toy tonight. And right next to it is where we leave to go to our hotel. It's been pretty cool. Is it fun? Mm hmm Is it tiring? Mm -hmm. Are your feet tired? Mm hmm <laughs> Your GPS will say that Disney Springs is 17 minutes away from the Wyndham Resort. It is not. <laughs> it, so far it's been three minutes. We're on the bridge right now. And uh we're about to go down the stairs and cross the street, or not even the street, but the uh, driveway, I guess, into the Wyndham Resort. looks really nice it looks like it actually has a waterfall and then it has like a kids play splash pad um, maybe a hot tub with a deck around it it looks like and then a decent sized pool so we're really gonna have to check that out at some point here yeah now that we're back it definitely smells musty but still very nice rooms also it's nice I, I am always a sucker for this um, there are USB ports in the walls that makes me so happy because I'm going to be able to charge everything tonight. There is a lock on the door uh, beyond just your regular deadbolt that I love having. Um, just adds that extra little bit of security that I love. Um, so definitely nice. There is like a little seating area. If you want to just read a book or if you want to play a game um, with your family or if you maybe want to order some pizza or something like that. Um, definitely some options there for you. Um, it is time for bed, for bath, I guess for bath, for bed, and and a movie. So let's go. We've got shampoo, body souffle. What is a body souffle? And conditioner. I've never heard of a body souffle. It sounds dangerous to me. My daughter says that I am charging the world and I love how many things you can charge all in one spot here. Of course, masks are needed at this point. It has just become a thing. So tomorrow we're gonna have to use those a lot. Of course, Dumbo needed to be tucked in. Hello everyone, it's the next morning and we are here at Joffrey's Coffee. Here you can find a little convenience store along with everything that a Joffrey's Coffee has to offer. Coffee, scones, and donuts are available for you and your family along with chips, fruit, and cereal for your breakfast and mealtime needs before you leave the hotel like we are right now. Wow, we got a hey, big, big donut here. Our and our bus is here. <laughs> it's not 8 o'clock yet, so I think we're safe. Disney Springs, welcome. And here are the Disney Springs hotels. And there's our Wyndham. 
we are here to use our pool today and we'll use our pool again tomorrow before we leave. Now she got about 20 minutes of nap time in. We're testing out the pool. Are you gonna give your review at the end? No. No? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go enjoy it. Let's go! There's also a pool bar down here. There's a lot of great stuff down here. And it is right by, our resort is right on the other side of that. We don't have a pool view, but what a great place to be. All right, what's the verdict about this pool? I give it, I give it four stars. Four out of how many? Four out of three. Four out of three, so so more stars than you even can get, huh? Well, I give it four out of three stars too because for me, I don't usually love to come to pools, uh, but this one actually I lost track of time at. All right, good morning, everybody. We are uh, getting into our pool. It's actually possibly a rainy day. We're gonna get in the pool. Um, we're gonna enjoy this morning. Come hell or high water, come rain or sun, <laughs> we're going to enjoy it either way. So, let's go. There is also a hot tub here, so if it's cold enough and we decide we need to, we can just go get in our hot tub and enjoy it that way. But, I love how here, you have basically just a very shallow area here for the kids to play in, but then it gets much, much deeper down over here. Still not too deep though. This pool only goes to four feet, one and a half meters. Um, it is not particularly big. Um, and that's really nice because it allows my little girl some space where she can play without feeling like she's going to get hurt in it um, if she's playing and swimming. Cause she can stand up right here, but she it's also deep enough for her to swim right here. And then, of course, the piece de resistance, the waterfall. I love that feature for this pool. It was definitely unintentional, but we picked a good day not to go into the parks today because it is supposed to rain all day today. <laughs> so it's kind of nice that we're going home today. It's been so hot recently anyway that it's just nice to... Um, have a bit of a cooler day rather than a day when you are sweating profusely down your back all day long. Now behind me you can see the hotel. We are not in the big part right there. We are in the more inexpensive older part of the hotel. The only thing that I've noticed throughout the week is just a little bit of a like a musty campground kind of a smell um, like it's like it's been used for a long time although I am a little bit surprised that there's still that smell because everything's been updated so I'm not sure why that's still there well my daughter even made a few friends she's playing with them just a little bit right now and uh, we're just enjoying our time here in the pool today. Right now, I'm going under that thing. All right, here I go. <laughs> Nobody else is out here, so it's okay if I look like a fool. All right, so the pool is closed, unfortunately. Because of lightning and thunder in the area within range um, they did say that they will open it back up as quickly as they possibly can um, however for right now it's closed um, we were going to go to disney springs anyway because my uh, sweetie here found a toy that she's kind of wanting so i think we're gonna go get that all right where are we going now Toy store. and what are we gonna get all right, so here we are in the bathroom area. It's a nice closet here. Ironing board, iron, and there's the cute one right there. She can't see me actually <laughs> because the window is tinted. So you could actually have that open. It basically looks like a mirror on the outside. We are headed out 
to Disney Springs to buy some toys. We got our doll and we are headed back to our hotel for the last time to go swimming for a little bit before our Uber comes to pick us up at 12 o'clock. So this just made me very mad. $97.50 just for staying here on top of the amount that I already paid. So I get that there's some housekeeping service amount. That makes sense. But for this hotel, $28 per day extra every single time, definitely not worth it. And very possibly has made this trip not worthwhile um, for this hotel. So I'm not sure that I would recommend this resort. I do not think this is okay. These are all hidden fees. Now, okay, yesterday at this point, I was pretty happy about being at this resort. But since then, I've discovered another $100 charge on my account because of staying here. Each day was an extra $29 per day for us to stay here. That's ridiculous. I would, if you told me the price, if you told me it was gonna be $110 a day rather than $80 a day, I might do that. I think $80 is even cheap for what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't actually $80. I think it was a little bit more than that. But it was worth it at that point, anything under $100. Instead, we're looking at this as, uh, we're looking at this hotel at somewhere between $110 and $120 a day, which is ridiculous when that is not what they told me it was going to be at the beginning. So, you know, it kind of makes this stay a little bit sour in my taste. I don't know that it's worth staying here. If you told me it was going to be 120, I might have done it. I don't know that that's the worst, but for the crappy service that we had here, I tried to call to their front desk three different times on our first day. I also tried to call the second day. Didn't even get one answer from them. There was bus transportation, but that bus transportation was not free. I just don't know that all these fees on top of it, because really, including the bus fees, it was really about $150 a day just to stay at this resort. Which, given the smell in the room and given the customer service that I received, is not worth it. Not to mention, everything costs extra money. If I stayed at a value resort, I actually would have spent less money to stay on Disney property without any kind of transportation, which makes this hotel absolutely not worth it. I mean, I hope someone from customer service reaches out to me after this video and maybe they can uh, make things better. And if they do, I will make an amend to that, to this video, um, at least on the comments or maybe even a second video. But right now this is absolutely not worth it i mean a pool is a pool and my daughter is still having fun i'm still having fun it's just it gives you a sour taste in your mouth from it like i said i don't know that this resort is worth the cost um, because we could do a disney value resort for the same cost yesterday night we were stuck for a long time that would not have happened if we were staying on Disney transportation. We were stuck until every night we got back past midnight because transportation was that unreliable. Not to mention it costs an extra 30 bucks per day just for us to get to the park that we were going to. And when we went to Magic Kingdom, we didn't even get to go straight to Magic Kingdom. We had to stop at Hollywood Studios. So for a $30 extra fee, that's just not worth it. When at Disney, you're able to get it for free just go to Disney. Don't come here. It's absolutely not worth it. And I will rail on this until the day I die. Because <laughs> now they've ticked me off.